Hello and welcome back to The Real Deal for the final time in Season 5. Today, just the Levante game. After the disappointment of yesterday's episode, we are now only fighting for second place and it's with Real Madrid. And right now, they've got the upper hand. First up though, some news that has come through, which is pretty good stuff. Uh, Hans Osmanovic, despite being injured for basically the second half of the season, has won Young Player of the Year in La Liga, which is fantastic. So, so we'll congratulate him on his award. Uh, 20 appearances, 18 goals, 7 assists and a 7.62 average rating. Congratulate him on the award. Congratulations on winning that. Uh, you've worked out this year, you deserve it, and it's been a good year, thanks boss. Hopefully he'll come back next season much fitter, of course he's been injured for a long time. Hopefully it's not affected him too much, he's still very young, so I don't think it'll hinder him too much. Uh, but if we can get that kind of performance out of you in mean, next season, it'll be fantastic. Also, our under-19s have won the under-19 Spanish Cup after a 4-0 win over Cadiz uh, at Municipal El Padro, um, which is a 4,000-seater stadium belonging to Talavaria, so... Nothing special, I've got to say, but uh, a decent 4-0 win there. Good stuff for the under-19s, and that's really, really promising for the future of Oviedo as well. So, here is the situation. Everyone is now playing. The final game of the season, everyone plays at the same time, which is very unusual for Spain. But we play Levante, which is good, because they're 15th in the table, we're third. We win today, we go on 83 points. Real Madrid in second place right now, taking on Seville away from home. So that's pretty good for us. As long as Real Madrid don't win today, we will finish second if we win our game. So that's what we're looking for. We have to win and Real Madrid have to avoid winning, basically. They can, they can draw or they can lose. And if that happens and we win, we go second in the table. This then is the team that I'm going to trust to try and do that. Uh, Gonzalez Garcia stays in goal because Berke Erdo is still injured. Uh, Varela, Verba and Diaz is coming in for today's game. I want to give the youngster Diaz a final run out this season. He's been very, very good and he's... He's the only youth player so far that's going to be challenging for places. Uh, he's challenged a lot this season for places. He's played a lot of games. Gonzalez Garcia not quite there yet. Meza isn't going to be there yet. And we've got Luka Adzic there. Like, Luka Adzic starts every time. He's first name on the team sheet. Doof uh, right back as well, of course. Uh, Dorsch in the CDM as uh, Ruiz is injured. Maximovic and Bedeka in the central midfield. Meza on the left, as I've already said. Orsolini on the right. And Salonke starting up front. And the second place showdown begins. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, match stats when it, when it when we want to. Uh, but we do need to keep an eye on Seville versus Real Madrid, of course. It's already started, apparently, which is nice and interesting. Apparently, we're following that. Seville already won the up. Fantastic stuff. They are won the up already. It says up there. It's not updated here yet. But they were 1-0 up and hopefully in this highlight that's on screen right now, we will go 1-0 up as we play it around in defence. Uh, Diaz's ball really to no one in the end. And now Levante have a chance to come forward early on in this game as uh, Jensen on the ball down towards Jason who can put a cross in into their man. And we've also gone 1-0 down. So poor start for both us and Real Madrid. Hopefully, we can rectify that now, though, as there is another highlight. But it is coming towards Levante right now. And they put it forward again in behind the defence. The cross comes in. Gonzalez Garcia does collect it. Now he's got a chance to show his distribution, the young goalkeeper. Gonzalez Garcia now down on the floor, kicks it out. And that was awful. But luckily, Verba was switched on and made the interception. Maximovic in towards Orsolini. Doesn't win it, but Dorsch is there to collect the loose ball who can now play it back to Verba just trying to find those gaps a great ball to Meza Meza with an even better ball into Solonke I think that was offside but it's not been given as offside okay that's fine we, we've we've brought it back immediately to one off so that's fine uh, I, th I mean honestly I'm sure that goal was offside but it's not been given as an offside so we'll take it Solonke has now suffered a tight calf, apparently. I mean, we are getting injuries left, right and centre at the moment. Uh, we've only just got enough players to get a full starting eleven and a bench. Like, all the reserves and things like that, all players outside of the bench and stuff like this, the, the match squad, they're all injured. Quick update on the score. Uh, Ramos injured for Real Madrid, but Seville still winning 1-0, which is good for us. There's a highlight now, as well as Orsolini. Plays a ball up towards Dominic Solonke, who wins it. Has time and space on the ball into Maximovic. You could have just... I don't know, should have waited for Maximovic to get into better position first, I think. But Varela back towards Meza, who's in behind the defence. Cross into Solonke, just over the bar. But we're putting the pressure on, and that's what I like to see. Much better than last episode. Right, half-time then. Stat-wise, it's not looking great, actually. It's very, very even out there. Uh, I'm going to go assertive. Uh, great opportunity to show the pundits. They've been right to back you all season. 
um, which they probably haven't. They probably haven't backed us all season. I think most of them backed us to finish bottom half, actually, if I think back to the preseason preview. Um, which is, we're actually no, I think we're about mid table. I think we're about 10th, but it just, it still shows how impressive we've been this season. Uh, the corner is headed by, oh, I thought it was headed by Diaz, but not quite. Also, he gets a tackle in, into the middle. Solonke at the far post, gets it in the back of the net. Again, I think that one was offside as well. Honestly, these two goals, how do we just reverse that a little bit? Right, Orsolini, I mean, maybe number three is playing him just onside there, but it's, it's close, very, very close to being offside there. I think the assistant, I'm pretty sure the assistant has missed it on both those goals, but I'm not going to complain. We're now two on up, back into second place in the table as well as things stand. Hopefully, Real Madrid are, are losing by more. They're 2-0 down now, Steven and Zonzi with a goal for uh, Seville. So it's looking pretty good for us right now. I'm happy with the way things are going. We just need to see this game out now. And to do that, I think we need some fresh legs. We're going to bring Rolheiser on for Solonke. He's tied up front. Give uh, give some extra pace up front in case we get another goal. Also going to bring David Cameron on at right back. Yeah, we'll bring him on at right back. Uh, Duf has played well, but I want to give David Cameron one little run out because I don't know if he's going to be here next season. Uh, on the grounds that he always kicks up a fuss now about like every transfer window, he kicks up a fuss wanting to leave the club. Usually to Villarreal for whatever reason. But wants to move there. If he asks again this summer, I'm I, I'm 90% sure I'm going to let him go. The other 10% is telling me to hold on to him because it's David Cameron. But we'll have to see. If someone meets his uh, release fee clause, then uh, there's not much I can do about that. So if someone meets his release fee clause, I can't do it. Update in the Madrid game up there. Seville 3, Real Madrid 1 now. So they're trying to make a bit of a comeback apparently in his last few moments. But Seville did get another one in there somewhere, which is nice. Dorsch now on the ball into Varela. Varela's cross into Orsolini. Cleared though. And here come Levante now. Joel on the ball, looking dangerous as he skips past David Cameron easily. The cross ball, uh, cross pitch ball to their to their striker is a good one. But Gonzalez Garcia showing why he is going to be a good keeper in the future. Chance now for us though as Rolheiser gets on the ball. Orsolini is now through. Can he get it through to Maximovic? Maximovic through an open, absolutely pile drives it into the back of the net from distance. Had all the time in the world to to get into the box close to the keeper and try and just place it around him, but it just went for power and laces outside the area. Makes it 3-1. This result is looking pretty safe now. What What's the Real Madrid game looking like? 3-1 still. Come on, Seville. Another chance for us now. This time coming through Rolheister. Again, a beautiful ball to Orsolini, who could really finish it off again. Very, very good save from the Levante goalkeeper. He's made a few of them today because he made one from Solonke earlier. He made one just then from, from, from Orsolini. And a decent header there from Verba at the far post just over the bar. We're putting the pressure on now. We're really getting into the in, into the next gear now, stepping it up. And by looks of things, as the clock starts to tick down now in towards the, the final few moments of the game, as long as... Oh, it's 3-2 now. 3-2 with Seville and Real Madrid. A draw is fine, actually. Real Madrid can draw and we'll still finish above them because of our head-to-head -head record. But, I mean, it's, it's Real Madrid. I can just I can just imagine them scoring two goals now in the 90th minute. I can imagine it's Ronaldo with both of them. Oh, Levante coming forward in these final few moments as well. David Cameron with the clearance into... Oh, Verd makes a very, very good tackle there. And Rolheiser makes a decent header there out to Orsolini. There's men over. If he can get the cross in, Rolheiser in the back of the net. He gets another goal this season. We're going to be keeping him. And he's going to be... A, I think he's going to be a real integral part of the backup squad next season, I think. Uh, he'll, sort of be, he'll be a backup striker next year. That's what I'm going to have him as, I think. Backup striker to Solonke and Hans Osmanovic. Uh, and looks of things... The clock ticking down. That ball forward now. This is going to be the last attack. That was a really weird shot. I don't know why. It's all over here. Can we get an update from Madrid, please, or Seville? As uh, we do we do with team talk. I'm not interested in this. I just want to know what's happened in Seville. Oh, you love to see that. Seville 3, Real Madrid 2. It means that we finish second this second this season, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Austin Lee playing very well that last game. Three assists, very, very good from him. He played very well, actually. Uh, and we've received 3.65 million, 3.67 million, sorry, for their final position in Spanish First Division La Liga. We were given our budget, actually, a, a few games ago when we had fully qualified for the Champions League. So I'll show you that now, if I can see it. Boardroom? Um, it's finances, isn't it? Then I've gone to the boardroom. It might tell me here. Yeah, it tells me here. 
£447,000 per week to spend on wages and 18 or well, basically £19 million to spend there. So uh, a little bit of room in the wages. We have to move that over a little bit and uh, and spend some money, but we've got a lot of money to strengthen next season for the Champions League. Thinking of strengthening things as well, we're also going to make a board request. Uh, our, f our facilities, again, were improved uh, around Christmas time this season. We want to do them again. So facilities, improve training facilities, please. Will that work? It, the board loved that straight away, so thank you very much. And can we improve our youth facilities as well? Please do that. They've said yes straight away. You love to see that. Um, our facilities now, actually, I think I think I think we'll be state of the art next time because we've improved it every single season. I think uh, they're currently superb youth and superb training. So I think the next one up is is it exceptional or is it state of the art? It's one of the two, but we'll see when they get upgraded. So. An absolutely incredible season. Second place on 83 points. A massive jump from last season. We had 50 points. Uh, the season before that, we were on 59, actually. But a big, big jump. A 30-point jump. Half of the 30 or so points that we've made up from last season have come from doing the double over Real Madrid, the double over Barcelona, and beating Atletico Madrid once. 15 points have come from those games, which has been huge for us. Had we not won those games, we'd be 15 points worse off, obviously. Uh, which would have put it, we still would have got a Champions League actually by the looks of things, but it would have put us a lot further back down the table, a lot further away from Atletico and, and teams like that, which is good. The main reason we've we've done so well this season though is look at we've only had lost five games this season, which is loads less than Real Madrid and Barcelona. We have drawn a few more than them, but it's, it's for losses. That's what we've we've got rid of basically. Fourteen losses last season, the season before that, thirteen losses. So. We've, we, I think we've just got better at game management this past season. We really, really improved our defence as well over summer. So I think just the combination of things, winning a few extra games against teams we haven't beaten before, essentially, improving our defence to the point where it's actually a very, very good standard now. It's as good as our attack. That's really helped us propel ourselves at the table. And it's just seemed to have worked this season. It's really, really good. Also, we had a very, very good pre-season as well. I think that would have helped as well. Uh, a, a very good winning mentality. And um, we ha I've got to say, we had a very difficult start to the season. But I think because we handled that so well, it gave us a lot of confidence for the rest of the season, I've got to say. Like, we just played really well. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this again next season or not. Um, I don't have... I don't know. These, these last few games of the season have sort of shown me that... Um, you know, if we lose a game and lose the next one, we're a little bit shaky. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it next season. I know a lot of our players will probably be in demand as well because of it. Hopefully, we can strengthen because we've got Champions League football. Hopefully, that will be a big appeal to some, some players out there that want to come in and play for us. At the same time, perhaps playing loads of Champions League games as well as league games will be a bit detrimental. We'll be too tired and things like that. So... It swings and roundabouts with, with next season, I've got to say, but I'm looking forward to it very much. Oh, our, our second place finish is Oviedo's highest ever finish in anything. The previous best with a third place finish. I don't know when that was, a long time ago, obviously, but second place, our highest ever finish, which is incredible. Christian Pavon wins player of the year with Hans Osmanovic coming second and Luka Adzic bringing up in third. Uh, very, very good season for both of those guys, to be fair. To be, to be above a 7.45 average rating, both of them is incredible. Actually, I don't know why Pavon's got number one when he's got... A, these, these players both have better records, uh, average ratings, and then both have more goals and probably more assists, I've got to say, as well. So that's a little bit annoying. Your boy has won manager of the year. I, I don't know why I struggle on that, but I've won manager of the year. My win ratio wasn't as good as the Athletic Madrid manager, but I seem to have got a lot more manager points. For, so I don't know why I've got more manager points, but I just do. So that's good stuff. Despite that, only only Adzic has been named in the team of the season. Despite, right, I don't know why Dybala's there, um, because he didn't get any awards. Osmanovic got young player and got second in player of the season. So why is he not up front? That's annoying. Right, to end off the season then, the end of season awards. Luka Adzic, fans player of the season, 58% of the vote. Orsolini and Bedeka there as well. Best signing, Hans Osmanovic, uh, also young player of the season as well. Borja Fernandez got goal of the season. Stat-wise, Hans Osmanovic really, really up there, I've got to say. 19 goals, 7.55 average rating in the league. Well, that's overall, actually. That's overall, which is pretty good. Luka Adzic and Orsini with nine assists. Dorsch, best pass completion. Hans Osmanovic and Ricardo Orsini with most man of the matches. David Cameron with the most yellow cards. And, of course, him as well with most red cards, which is brilliant. End of season team review, then. We're, do I say top? I'm not going to say we're aiming for Champions League. I'm going to say aim for Europa League next season. They all seem to... That, that was risky. That was very risky, I think. But I went for it straight away and they all seem to like that. So the aim, the aim this season really in the back of my mind was Europa League. But next season, they all think it is going to be Europa League. That's... 
that's scary. It's been a pretty wonderful season, I've got to say. We've, we've narrowly missed out on a title, but we weren't expected to be there. So next season, it's same again, I think. Same again, try and fight for a top six finish. If we get further than that, brilliant. So thank you very much for watching season five of The Real Deal. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to Champions League football next season. If you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I will see you next time for some more Real Deal.